So this is your right femur. And the way to know this is first, know that the head of the femur is always gonna be pointing medially. And then this smooth surface right there is called your patellar surface. And that is always gonna be pointing anteriorly because it articulates with the patella. And here's your patella. This is the rough side, which, point, which is gonna um, face anteriorly. But the part that's gonna articulate with the patellar surface is the smooth articulating surfaces of the patella. And it would just sit right there. And the region where it kind of narrows in to kind of a point is gonna be called the apex of the patella. And note that this is a sesamoid bone and it's kind of like a tri triangular shape. And just to make a note, um, for the sake of the practical, while these are the articulating surfaces of the patella, just know that you would just call them the articular surfaces. This is the head. Where it kind of narrows in is gonna be called the neck. This region is the shaft. And again, patellar surface. And if this is the head, then this part right here is going to be your medial condyle. But you can really view it much better from a posterior aspect because this whole thing is your medial condyle, which lines up with the head of the femur, which is medial. So if this is the medial condyle, this is the lateral condyle. And between that is this fossa, which is gonna be called the intercondylar fossa. Now along the shaft, there's this rough line kind of, and this is gonna be called um, linea aspera. This is your linea aspera. And up top, the first thing I want to point out is this depression in the head right here. That is going to be called your fovea capitis. And now from the head, there's this big kind of horn looking thing. And that is the greater trochanter. And then this smaller similar looking structure is the lesser trochanter.